so much. We got some major news out of college football this afternoon where USC and UCLA are taking steps to leave the Pac-12 conference. And the two flagship programs could become members of the Big Ten Conference as soon as 2024. KTLA's Rashawn Haylock live in Exposition Park with details. This is a big deal. Lou, this is huge. A shockwave through the world of college athletics that has USC and UCLA reportedly headed to the Big Ten, a deal that could happen as early as 2024. Now, when you look at this, there are a lot of layers to it. Recently, it was announced by Texas and Oklahoma that they would be leaving the Big 12 and headed towards the Southeastern Conference to create a power conference. And so the Big Ten has a counter of its own by welcoming USC and UCLA. But more importantly for our local schools, you're talking about money that comes from media rights. And the Pac-12 network just simply has not been able to generate the type of revenue that the conference needs, whereas the Big Ten can offer something the Pac-12 simply cannot. Yep, I mean, we're talking tens of millions of dollars difference between the media rights money that's going to Big Ten schools and Pac-12 schools. So, you know, I think they looked at that market and thought, you know, why would we wait these couple years? You know, this is one of the tent poles of this new college football, which is inevitably looking like it's going to be run by, you know, 20 or so team super conferences. And for the UCLA side of things, this one is a little bit more tricky. It's almost like someone landed in Westwood and dropped them a pot of gold. Essentially with this deal, they hit the jackpot. The UCLA athletic department had, you know, has reportedly been in the red for, for the last couple of years. Obviously the pandemic played a part in that and low, uh, some, some low attendance for football and some other things, um, you know, so <laughs> making a big jump uh, just in terms of media rights, TV rights and things like that. I think that can only mean good things for UCLA football attendance. We talk about multiple layers. There's another issue to this as well. That's name, image, and likeness. And we're in a, a situation right now where I was talking to someone yesterday, and while USC has been able to take advantage of that and be able to get high-profile recruits to join their football program, UCLA simply has not and cannot due to financial reasons. They've lost football players. They've lost baseball players to other conferences because, quite frankly, they can offer more money as it relates to name, image, and likeness. It's something that we talked about uh, in our sports department in our NIL show earlier this year, and you see it all coming full circle. But so many levels to this, but ultimately it ends up with USC and UCLA reportedly headed to the Big Ten in 2024. That's it for now at the LA Coliseum. Rashawn Haylock, Kate. TLA 5 will send it back to you in Hollywood.